I got a call from the director, Mark Klosfeld, and they asked me if I wanted to do a Red Hot Chili Peppers video. I'm like, yeah, I want to do a Red Hot Chili Peppers video. Yeah, it's like, of course I do. My desire to become an editor really stemmed from my desire to tell stories, and editing was really the best way for me to accomplish the storytelling that I wanted to do. When I was 16, I got my first car. I drove out to LA from Chicago in a 72 Dodge Challenger. It was a beast. I felt that Los Angeles was definitely the place for me to be just because it's where everything is going on as far as the production scene. Being at places like the Rainbow, being immersed in the rock culture of LA, it's just been a really great place for me to be. I would say my inspiration definitely comes from the footage as I experience it, and I try to experience it without thinking about it and just feel it out and see what works and what doesn't. If I die before I get it done, will you decide? This was the first project that I actually used Adobe Premiere on. I went from using Avid Media Composer to using Final Cut. The reason I switched to Premiere was because Apple isn't supporting professional editors anymore with Final Cut. So I really needed to find an option, and for me, the best option was Premiere. I couldn't have been happier with the transition. I did no tutorials, nothing. I just jumped in and started working with the program. I feel that the software definitely had an impact on the creative process in that it was so easy to work with that it just kind of disappeared for me. And that's ideally what you want out of any software, and Premiere definitely did that. And because it was shot on film, it lended itself to this sort of organic approach, pacing things slower, holding on shots, letting the viewer feel the emotion. On this particular project, I didn't use an assistant editor because I wanted to learn the process from start to finish. So the start was Prelude. It's an application within the creative suite that you use to break down the footage. It was like no learning curve. I just started using it. I think that one of the great features of Premiere is that you don't need to transcode. You can just get the files from the camera and just start editing. I started with the march, and the march was pretty elaborate. There's 83 different takes of the march, and the Premiere Multicam feature works really well. By switching to any of these numbers, it'll come up exactly in sync to the song, and the timeline editing is bar none the best that I've experienced. So I was able to really move around and create a feel of like, you know, you were actually experiencing it. If I'm trying to find a shot, it's really nice to have the hover scrub. You can just like go through a take. Having a company like Adobe behind Premiere makes me enthused about the product because I feel like they're gonna continue to support it and support the new cameras, keep the software current. Some editors are sort of resistant to changing to new software and when I talk to them about Premiere, and then I'll be just like, don't you wish you could do this with your nonlinear editor? And they're like, yeah, that would be nice. I'm like, well, you should just switch. Like I said, you know I'm almost dead, you 